Downtown from its midnight, more and more people have gathered downtown. The overall atmosphere is like New York City on New Year's Eve. See Romeo running around downtown playing flutes, slapping high fives, etc. etc. There are bands and DJs and street performers and clowns and all kinds of people singing and dancing and performing. Governor Moses with Mayor Chianti, Alfredo, Teodoro, and Juliet, the cappuccino, right beside him, is announcing to the crowd from a podium on the steps of the diner. Romeo has disappeared from the scene. Governor Moses, I'd like to make a special announcement. Alfredo Cappuccino, could you please join me at this time? Alfredo Cappuccino joins him in the podium. It is my distinguished honor to announce that due to the generous nature of the citizens of our fair Renaissance state, enough money has been raised to save the diner and even buy a lifetime supply of cappuccino to go with it. Congratulations, Alfredo. A huge roar from the crowd. Alfredo, I'm choked up. Thank you, Governor Moses. And thank you, everybody. Romeo, a very special thanks to you. Alfredo turns to where Romeo was standing, but he's no longer there. Alfredo just shrugs his shoulders. Julieta, intrigued, looks around for this enigmatic individual, but he is nowhere to be found. See the silhouette of a figure with flute in hand way up on top of a hill overlooking downtown. Theodore, Julieta, I love you. And the Vera, my wife, I love you most of all. If it wasn't for you, this dream would never have come true. All are welcome anytime. This is not my diner anymore. This is our diner. The crowd explodes with cheers and applause. I'd like everyone to just take a moment to remember what happened about a year ago today. On September 11, 2001, the nation suffered a fatal blow. The loss was immeasurable, unspeakable, but the gain was unprecedented. Our nation responded to the tragedy with so truly courageous. Through unification, we learned to band together against all odds to counter the misfortune with the utmost in dignity and strength. Many voices were silenced forever by the devastation, and yet the many new voices were born and remained mute no longer as a result. For our nation has learned to speak again as the one solid and united voice. We have rediscovered the key to unlock all the mysteries hidden deep within the heart of this beautiful country. Once and for all, we may stand as one, or can we? In order for our rebirth to be sustained and remain intact, we must nurture and cultivate a sense of community, pride, unity, and heart that was reignited by the September 11th nightmare. We do not act now in a small window of opportunity and strike while the anvil is hot. This perfect chance to reignite an old flame and to restore a nation's dignity may be lost forever. It's the American dream that will be realized once again in the resurrection of the Twin Towers or some other such creation. Or may those towers be replaced by a new spirit that is embodied in the perfect symbol of America. What is this new symbol? Rather, maybe this is not new at all. Maybe it's been with us all along. At the heart of America, there stands the mythical diner, the vortex, the beacon of all that is good, the grand central station of the American dream. This is the place where it will all happen, where the providence of renaissance will be born. A heart to bursting forth to enrapture the globe. Because of all of you, the heart of America will never be destroyed, they will never die. You are the true heroes, every one of you. May Yahweh. Bless you, one and all. Proud cheer celebrates. Mr. Cappuccino shakes Governor Moses' hand. The whole place goes wild. Proud eventually disperses. See Julieta looking around for Romeo as she hears his flute playing in the distance. 